Hello and welcome to the Grand Canyon National Park. Don't know if that's what it's called, but I'm near the Grand Canyon in some park out here camping. Absolutely gorgeous. And welcome to the Taking Out the Trash podcast. So, out here, you know, I like to travel in a van, I like to uh, be out camping. And everywhere I go, there's a bunch of trash on the ground. And it's really sad. Really makes me disappointed. Because nature, as you, I mean, like, look at this. The sun is shining. It's just beautiful out here. It's just beautiful. And the world's beautiful. America's beautiful. The earth, nature, it's all beautiful. But we as people produce a lot of trash. Especially in national parks, nature areas. Uh, people aren't really good at just picking it up. People aren't good at taking all the trash out. So, that's where I come in. I know I'm not the only person to pick up trash, but... I think I'm the first person to make a uh, YouTube channel podcast out of it. So... I've got the campsite for the night. Just got a campsite. I live in a van. There we go. It's the campsite. We're just parked there. Got some wood out for some projects I'm working on, but just want to walk around, just see trash. And actually, you know, as I first pulled up, it uh, didn't seem that bad. Actually, kind of mild, trash-wise. Earlier today, or last night rather, and you know, this morning got up and left, but last night stayed along the Colorado River, and my God. It was just like open, you know, open land campsites, and man, people left piles and piles of trash. Disgusting. So, this, I mean, this isn't, you know, as we're driving, pulling up, I'm like, oh, that's not too bad. There's like barely any trash. I'm not going to be able to get some content, which is fine. <laughs> We'd much rather have no trash than you not be able to film anything, but you stop get out, start looking around, and then it just pops up. It's just everywhere. Small things. You know, I've got a piece of glass out here. A lot of tissues. This plastic. Yeah, I mean, you go out camping, you got to get your granola bars, your fruit bars, and leave the wrapper on the ground. So yeah, I just started walking around. Man, I was shocked. Some sort of metal plate or something. I don't know. Trash. Not nature. Not nature. Let's get a little light adjust if we can. In here, a little shady part. Hey, here we go, the first beer bottle. You know, there's really something about... This is just one beer bottle. I've seen campsites. Piles and piles. Looks like they've been there for weeks or months. Just drinking beer. <laughs> it is something, you know. Get out. I love camping, you know. You get to go out in nature. Get away from the real world, from cities. Get away from all that shit. And you come out. For some reason, people love to come out camping in the middle of damn near nowhere. And drink themselves silly. Really just numb all the senses. So you probably get to a point you're not even enjoying being outside. Just drunk off your ass in the middle of nowhere. Tish, you gotta be careful picking up these. You get nasty. I know the camera work is not good. The camera work is all over the place. I'm new to this. Never really vlogged or anything. So. I'm also working on trying to figure out a system to film with one hand and then pick up trash with the, the other hand. You know, we're picking up in the trash bag, all that. We're working on it. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a work in progress. This fly keeps landing on me. Got tissue here. Yeah, man, like I said, I pulled up here and I was like, damn, there's no trash. That's nice. Must be a well maintained campsite or something. People's just really good. And you just start walking around. Oh, there's plenty. There is plenty.
You know, it's fascinating out here. Uh, you got a lot of brush. It's my first time out near the, the Grand Canyon, northern Arizona. So it's like my first time with this type of terrain, this type of uh, ecosystem. I was out in the desert a lot recently, and I mean, there's piles of trash there too. Even just like open desert plains, nothing else. Still got some trash. But uh, interesting thing about that was every, you know, every so often there's a little shrubbery or something, a little bush, and the wind would just blow all the trash into the bushes. So you could kind of just like walk along the line and pick that up. Out here, I mean, you got the pine needles, you got the pine trees, small bushes, big bushes. You got it all. So trash can be anywhere. But yeah, take this as a, uh, a PSA. If you're, if you're the type to like to go out camping, or even just go to a park, you know? It doesn't even have to be extreme. Hey, the hell, I mean, if you like to walk to 7-Eleven, it'll be trash wherever you go, I promise you. So, uh, luck. I wish we lived in a world where everyone is responsible for their own trash. And it'd be great. You just worry about yourself, move on. Everything's good. But, not the case. So, sadly, some people just like to, uh, leave trash wherever the hell they want. So, anybody who likes going outside, you know, I, I'd like to encourage you, even if it's just like on the way walking somewhere, take a trash bag, just pick some stuff up. Just pick up what you can. You're not gonna, you know, you're not fixing the world overnight. You're not stopping climate change. But you can make the world a little prettier. And you know, I'm one person. I know there's other people out here who pick up trash. And kudos to them. Big shout out to them. You're getting real, no real benefit other than making the world prettier. You're not getting paid for this. So, uh, be a real good person if you just walk around and pick up trash. Really should be wearing gloves. It's kind of good disgusting, but I don't have any. And there's trash out here. So we're gonna pick it up. Yeah, there's a lot of tissues out here so far. It's that one beer bottle, like I said. But man, is this beautiful. Really, you know, it's great walking, walking around, trash picking. You get to enjoy some of the forest too. You know, a lot of times I used to just pull up at campsites. Oh, here we are. Set up shop and you stay in one place. Got the uh, Keystone, Keystone Life. Shout out. Yeah, you just set up shop at your campsite and that's it. But doing this, you get to roam around just a little bit. Don't go too far. National parks can be dangerous. But check out the area. Make it a little bit prettier. And then the next person will come through and they'll be like, damn, how about this campsite? It's so nice. No trash. Beautiful. We got a little like valley thing here. It's pretty cool. Kind of away from campsites here, so this is just whatever drifts. Probably not much up here. It's down here rather. But yeah, man, so. I'm a, uh, I'm a van lifer. All right, if you see, what is this? I'll get back to that. Second, we've got some socks here. Yeah, I don't know what those socks were used for. Doesn't look good. Let's just be careful. <laughs> Reebok tag, get the shoes out here. But yeah, so no van life in. I've been van life in for half a year, maybe a little bit longer. Yeah, we're actually we're getting close to a year. Started August of uh, 2020. Um, you know, it takes a while to get used to it. it takes a while to just get into the swing of things, learn the flow about 
Um, you know, everything takes a little bit longer living in a van. You got the travel time, you got, you got to stop for food, you got to stop for the bathroom. You got to, you know, when you stop to set up, you got to move a lot of stuff normally. Depends on your setup, how much stuff you got. Keep it thin if you can. Keep as minimal as possible if you're doing van life. But, uh, yeah. Been doing it for about, um, nine months probably. All right, we got a uh, paper towel roll. Some of, you know, some of this stuff is uh, biodegradable, so if you, you end up picking up trash and you only got like limited trash bags, limited space to carry stuff back to a uh, trash can, um, you can leave some of that stuff. You can leave, you can leave the, uh, you know, paper products, paper towel rolls, anything paper really. Or you can pick it up. It never hurts. It's not supposed to be out in nature, so it never hurts. Got a little cap out here. Oh yeah, so as I was saying, been van life in guaranteed fresh. Shouts out. Van life in for probably about nine months now. And I love it. I love being outside. I love seeing nature, seeing different parks. Um I just get to the point where, you know, I, you know, I went around, took the trip across the country. I, you know, I really feel like I've taken a lot from van life. And seeing trash at every park, every national park. Uh, you know, I just felt like there was a need to get back in some way. And so, you know, I can just, it's easy. It's really easy. Just pick it up. Get this in the bag. So yeah, a little, little backstory for where I'm at right now. So been stationed around San Diego for a while. Why well, keep running on me? Yeah. So a little backstory about me. Uh, I've been stationed in San Diego for a bit. I'm from the East Coast and then came across the country over the winter. Um, been stationed in San Diego, like I said, <clears throat> and then, uh, you know, I just decided to take a trip out to, um, the Grand Canyon. It's about, I think, eight hours away from San Diego. So it's a bit of a trip. Got to, uh, got to prepare and everything. It's a little bit of paper. But there's so much to see. Even in California, in Southern California, you know, it kind of feels like you're secluded. There's a lot in Southern California, in maybe like a two, three hour radius. I mean, I got from San Diego to LA, and then out to like Joshua Tree in the desert. After Joshua Tree, um, there's really not much, it's just mostly desert, but I mean, it's only, it's about five hours to Phoenix. And it all depends on your schedule. If you're, uh, if you gotta work, I know it's tough to take five hour trips. If you got some free time off, five hours, you can do it. It's not too terribly far. Five hours to Phoenix, and then another three to the Grand Canyon. Just rough numbers. And it's fun. I mean, time flies when you're driving, for me at least. Just put your headphones on, or put some music on. Put your head on, podcast. Just go. Just go, look out the windows, see what's going on. All right, it looks like I've got most of the trash in the area. Like I said, it's not, it wasn't too much. So I was walking around. Um, it's nice, even just to clean up a little bit in the area. There's animals around. I've seen a few lizards around here. Lizards are really cool. Don't want to contaminate their ecosystem. I don't know. I have no clue what other animals are out here, honestly. You know, out in the desert, I saw a few coyotes. saw a bunch of desert hares. Um, yeah, some snakes I know. Out here, like I said, it's my first time in this in, uh, this sort of ecosystem. Don't really know much about, it, especially the animals. Love these pine trees. Here, let me get some better shots. They are. Uh, love the pine trees. 
this light brush on the ground. This campsite looks pretty good. Shout out to this person. Picked up all the stuff. But you never know. You know, you leave a beer can, you leave a beer bottle. You need just a cap to a, a drink or something. Animals can eat that. They can, uh, I don't know, they can harm them in other ways. Everyone's seen the sea turtles that have uh, the, uh, <laughs> the straw in the nose. It's not funny. I shouldn't have laughed. But, uh, oh, uh, you know, it's become a so, uh, Everyone's seen it. And we just don't want to disrupt their environment. Beautiful creatures. Nature's beautiful. It's the natural world. It's how we were, uh, how everything was placed on this planet everything has originated so simply a shame to uh litter it out but i want this to be a positive experience this podcast um that's probably about it for this one this is you know one of my first few episodes so i'm still working on it um i'm enjoying it it's nice it's meditative just walk around View the landscape, see the campsites, view the national forest, pick up some trash, help out the environment. It's a great thing. And I love talking. <laughs> I like talking a little too much. I'm not used to talking on camera, but I imagine I'll get used to it pretty quick. Yeah, I'm still walking around. I, I barely see any trash. So, I'll probably... Looks like I'm going to sign off. Hopefully make another one of these videos again soon. And uh, really get the channel rolling. I appreciate anybody who watches this. Because this is really just garbage content. Pun intended. Terrible jokes too. Um, so yeah, I appreciate anyone who watches this. I'd appreciate if anyone who does watch this would like, subscribe. You know, turn on notifications, all the good jazz. I appreciate it. And one more thing I forgot to mention. I have a Patreon. So if you like this, uh, please subscribe to my Patreon. I will be posting extra content there. Um, a few other perks. You know, I really appreciate any Patreon members. Um, they really help. You know, I'd like to be doing this full time. Just go around picking up trash. So if I can make money doing it and support myself, that would be beautiful. That would be a beautiful, beautiful thing. This camp so we got just a little bottle cap. Not too bad. But yeah. If you'd like to uh, subscribe to my Patreon, I would love that. The different tiers, different options with that. So, head on over. I will leave a link down below for that. And I'll see you there. I appreciate it. Everybody, have a nice day. Go outside. Put your, your feet in the ground feet in the grass, in the dirt, whatever you got, sand, whatever you got. Just enjoy the day.